Good morning, DICA. This month, we're focusing on the theme, Glory of Jubilee. In this spirit, we embrace renewal and restoration through God's boundless mercies and grace. It reads in Isaiah 43, verse 19, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. You can start your week by participating in our weekly Bible studies on Tuesdays and online prayer sessions. Our Friday schedules each week, the first being for appointments of God, the second being for women, and the third for men's gathering. On the fourth, it's always night vigils. However, in months where it's five Fridays, the fourth includes reviews and workers' training. For the mothers, we have Mama Sunday mornings, enjoying tea and coffee together every third Sunday of the month from 10, 10 a.m. to 11, 10 a.m. Fathers are encouraged to stay with children during this time. You can stay connected through our social media platforms and website. Also through Facebook and Instagram and YouTube for latest updates and sermons. You can also catch up on Sunday sermons through our DICA podcast, available on Spotify and other listening platforms, which allows you to listen on the go and stay spiritually nourished wherever you are. We offer pastoral counseling by appointment with your local pastor or senior pastors available to guide you. Thank you for your generous contributions to the ministry. Ties and offerings can be made using the bank details provided or at the end of service using the white envelopes on your seat. Now, I'll pass it over to Pastor Pray. Lessons to you all. The glory of Jubilee. What does Jubilee mean? It means freedom. The human heart yearns for freedom in all realms, in the spirit realm, in the soul realm, in the family realm. True freedom is not a celebration of one day or one week, but it is every day because God himself had said, the year of Jubilee is a year, a whole year. Listen, Jesus equally said in Luke chapter 4 verse 19, he came to give you the acceptable year of the Lord, true freedom. And so yearn for it, expect it, demand it, and enjoy God working for you without interference or human infirmities. So you really enjoy freedom. It's your chance. It's your privilege. Go for it. <laughs>